Okay guys, welcome back. We're all in the uh, winter grind of taking care of our cattle. But when it comes to taking care of cattle, this is one thing that's crucial. I want to show you guys this. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad loved to work with wood and he made wood feed bunks. Well, the problem with wood feed bunks is that they rot and they get holes in them. And uh, when you have a flat surface in the feed bunk, the calves, sometimes, you know, when you're weaning calves, the calves like to walk down the bunk. And so this is the very first bunk that I ever built. And uh, it's got quite a few years on it now. That was back in my, oh, probably mid-20s that I came up with this idea. And so what it is, it's a 16-inch pipe. And if you look down here at the metal, uh, it's probably the equivalent to, uh, of 12 gauge, maybe 14 gauge steel. But just from that tube design, splitting the tube in half and then putting two together, you come up with this bunk here. And so, you know, it's like uh, 34 uh, inches wide. The tubes spread a little bit, so it's probably 34, maybe 35 inches wide. But I just boxed in the ends. You don't have to get fancy on that. You don't have to cut out the two tube shapes. Actually, you get more strength out of that shape there. But there is a hitch. So the first bunk I built was entirely out of odds and ends. If you notice the legs there, uh, those are steel wheels off an old rake. And I joined them together with a leaf spring off a truck. Put a couple pieces of rebar in there. And then this is the axle off of an Alice Chalmers combine. And it was just shortened down and just used various pieces of channel iron to give you a flat surface to weld that axle to. But anyway, a bunk that's rapidly portable and you could pull it down the road, uh, you know, with about anything. So the second bunk I built was this one. And here side by side, it's a solid bunk. Uh, once again, used steel. Uh, we use those flat down pipes and then there's a six inch channel iron carrying it. But uh, uh, portable's nice, but by then we had fancy, you know, tractors and front wheel assist and it's just as easy to move a tract a bunk with your bale spear. Uh, the calves have not been eaten out of here for probably a month and a half now. They're switched to the concrete bunk. But uh, if you can find tube like this and make a bunk, you make a bunk that is indestructible. And as long as you have calves eat out of it once or twice or a couple times a year, it will never rust up. And this bunk will last the rest of my kid's life. Uh... I'm sure it will it will last a long long time I'm gonna show you the third bunk but oh the difference here the difference there is that height and so there is a right height that a bunk needs to be so that the small calves can eat in it and I'm showing it on my leg there it's approximately mid thigh uh, that is the correct height. It needs to be just a little bit higher than my first bunk. One thing calves will do on my first bunk, if you're crowding the bunk, is that they will try and put their feet in this first part of the bunk and eat on the other side. Uh, you know, if they're fighting, occasionally a calf will push, a bigger calf will push a smaller calf through or into the bunk. But the thing about the round bunk is that the calves just don't like to be in, in it. Uh, they will put their front feet in one side on this short bunk and try and reach across to the other side at certain times. Uh, but on the bunk that's a hair taller, they're never in it. They uh, don't put their feet in it. That's the right height. And it's just, uh, probably should put a tape measure on it, but you get an idea there. And if somebody has a question, they could ask me, you know, and I could measure the bunk and tell them what the right height is from my experience. So the two bunks up there <clears throat> were 20 foot bunks. They were made out of 20 foot sticks of pipe. Uh, this bunk here, it's a heavier gauge of steel, uh, a little bit thicker than 10 gauge, uh, probably, probably not quite quarter inch, but it's a thicker bunk. This is what I call the bull bunk. 
And this bunk, I've got the loops, had uh, my local blacksmith welded this one together for me. I was in a hurry one year for some reason or the other. Uh, but it is still in use right now because we have too many calves for the fence line feed bunk. And so the little calves can come over here if they want to. Uh, this bunk is a hair shorter. It's similar to the first bunk that I showed you. Uh, but I call this the bull bunk because it's virtually indestructible and you know I will put it out for the bulls and they can scratch on it. It's heavy enough they cannot physically turn it over. And uh, they sure have a ball with it. So when I cut the bulls off by themselves here in another month or so and they've got to sit off by themselves for a while, this is the bunk I take. But it's the same basic design as the other ones. And this type of bunk is pretty much indestructible. Uh, there will be a lot of years of life in this bunk. So I just wanted to show you those feed bunks. Things that I have done uh, because I got tired of patching wood bunks. Thanks guys.